I'm Mike Wilde, I'm the Chief Exec of MAC. Uh, MAC is the support organisation for all the charities and voluntary groups, community organisations, sports clubs and social enterprises dotted all around the city of Manchester. There are over 3,000 in this city alone. And they do everything from sports clubs to after school clubs, they look after old people through befriending schemes, they look after people with mental health problems, they do museums and galleries. All kinds of stuff is going on around the city all the time. There are people walking past me now who are probably volunteers in many of those organisations. We know there's over 100,000 people working in all those groups all throughout the year. The voluntary sector is like the air, it's all around you. One of the things MAC does every year is the Spirit of Manchester programme. And that's where we celebrate all that stuff that's happening all around you. Uh, the main thing that you'll see from that is the thing that we call the Spirit of Manchester Awards. We set a number of categories and they're things like Volunteer of the Year, Campaign of the Year, Contribution to the Voluntary Sector. And then we ask people to tell us great examples of what they're doing. Working with businesses, working together in partnership, supporting people who use services, all those different things. We get all those nominations in and then a panel of judges sits and decides which ones are going to go on the shortlist. We don't make any of those decisions. Once we've set the categories, it's over to everybody else who's involved. So the judges meet, they pick a shortlist of around about three or four in each category, and then we send a team of community reporters out to make little films on their phones. A film that's about two minutes long to tell you the story of that organisation and why they've been nominated. And then in October, We'll host a huge awards event with about 300 people there and we'll get the Lord Mayor of Manchester and we'll get all kinds of people from the public sector, from the City Council, the NHS, from the local community and from all those different charities. They'll all come together and then on the night we show the films and people vote on them live. So the people in the room pick the winners. So Mac doesn't say that's best, that's not best everybody's involved in it because we want to get more and more people involved in this whole celebration of what our sector does all around the city. Another thing that's part of the Spirit of Manchester programme is something called the Spirit of Manchester Festival. The first week of October we ask all those local organisations, community groups and charities to put something on for free and invite the public to come and see what they do. And we get about 70 odd events usually scattered all across the city and it means that there's a whole week of stuff where you can go along and just have a nice evening out or find out something that was going on on your doorstep you never knew about. Another part of the Spirit of Manchester programme is Spirit Stories. Um, that's where we pick uh, a number of groups and a theme that we want to share some stories about. Um, we ask those organisations to tell us what they do on one day. How many people did you see? What did you do? What support did you give? Because when you add the power of all those single days together, you get a fantastic picture of the amount of effort that is going on in our communities around us all the time. And then the other thing that Mac does as part of our Spirit of Manchester programme is the Spirit of Manchester Fund. While we're going along through all this stuff, we try and raise a bit of money to make more good things happen. So on the evening of the awards, for example, we hold a raffle and we get supporters in and we raise some money. Last year we raised over £2,000 just on the night. What we do then is we give that out as little grants, just £500 to community groups. This year we're doing it around collaboration, trying to get groups working together and between them they can make more good things happen. But the spirit of Manchester isn't just about what the charities and community groups do. It's also about partnerships, working with lots of local businesses. Many of the businesses around here are involved in doing something good in the local community. We want to encourage that. So, I hope that's given you a flavour of what the spirit of Manchester is all about, what it looks like and feels like, but the best way to experience it is come and get involved. You can find us on Twitter, you can find us on Facebook, uh, you can find our website. Uh, above all, the best thing is come and see it for yourself because there is so much great stuff happening all around us in this city. Why don't you come and join in? This film was originally made in early May 2017, mere days before a horrific attack on the Ariana Grande concert at the Manchester Evening News Arena. 22 people were murdered that night in this city 
hundreds more families found their lives had changed forever as a result of what happened. The phrase spirit of Manchester suddenly started appearing in the papers and on the media and on television being quoted by everybody from the Prime Minister to the Mayor of Greater Manchester and we wondered whether we should even continue to use it. But actually it's always been about celebrating the best of humanity and in the response to the horror of that night what we saw was this city responding with the best of humanity. So that's why we've decided to carry on because it's important to carry on and not to be derailed by the people who try to divide us but also because it's now more important than ever that we celebrate the spirit of Manchester.